Hi, I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about if I talk about a buffalo hump or a neck home or a dowager's hump, and it's essentially a hump that you can have at the base of your spine. And all it is is it's a deposit of fatty tissue, but it's laid there to protect the spine. And the reason why the body has laid that fatty tissue there is because people have got faulty posture. So they have rounded shoulders, they have the chin sticking forward, there's too much pressure going on on this area here, and that can give you a buffalo hump or a neck hump. Now, the good news is there's something you can do about it, and I'll give you three really simple and very effective exercises for you to help you with it. It shouldn't take too long, it's persistency, that's the key. But the first thing you need to do is sort out your posture, so make sure you're nice and upright, shoulders back, chin in so you don't create that constant tension on this area there. Also, before I continue with the exercises, I really enjoy making these videos for you, but if you could just help me out and just like it or comment in the box below, I really, really would appreciate it. Okay, so the first exercise is a YWTL exercise, and essentially what we're trying to do is to stretch out, straighten out the whole thoracic spine, so from the top to the bottom. And it's very, very simple, so what you do, you raise your arms in the air, hand, palms facing forward, arms in the air, and you really pull your arms backwards. Keep your elbows straight, pull your arms backwards, and hold this for about 30 seconds if you can. And then, from the Y position, we go to the W position, so this is W position. So you pull your arms back and make sure your elbows are pointing down, and the same thing, hold this for about 30 seconds. Now, after 30 seconds, you spread out your arms, elbows, your palms still facing forward. So you make a T, Y, W, T, so again pulling your arms back again, and 30 seconds, and then we're going down to the L, elbows in the side, arms out, and really pull your arms, your forearms back. And that's an L position, and again hold that for about 30 seconds. So that's exercise number one, Y, W, T, L. Really good exercise to get rid of that dowager's hump in the back of your neck. The second exercise I like to show you for the neck hump, the buffalo hump, very effective as well. Simple again and effective. What you need to do is place your hands behind your back, grab your wrist, pull your arms, straighten your elbows and pull your arms back and make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then you tilt your head back and you hold this for about 30 seconds, and whilst you're tilting back, you're breathing out exhales. My final exercise to combat the neck hump or the buffalo hump is probably one of my favorites. Simple exercise to do, all we need is a wall. So make sure in this case with the right arm, slide the hand up on the wall, make sure it's nice and high. Don't do it here, make sure your arm's really high up, and then what you need to do is you need to in this case right arms up, I'm gonna turn to my right and I'm gonna tilt my head backwards and let it rest here for about 15 seconds before I come back again. And again, turn to the right and tilt backwards and hold this for about 15 seconds. And make sure you don't get dizzy, be careful with this, but it's a really, really, really good exercise. That's one side, and obviously you need to do the other side as well, so left arm up, and I'm turning to the left, and I'm tilting my head backwards, and hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. Really good exercise, probably one of my favorites, and it very specifically targets that area of your neck where you have that bit of a hump. Often, people who experience a neck hump or a buffalo hump also experience a bit of neck pain as well. I've done some really nice videos, good videos for you on neck strategies, really effective neck strategies, so check out our channel, our YouTube channel, and you can find the video there as well. I love making these videos for you and I would really appreciate a little bit of support for you if you could just like or comment or subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Anyway, take care of yourself, take care of someone else as well if you can please, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, bye bye